So welcome back to another What Gear Word on the Street and enter the new Snapdragon 845 and the Qualcomm X50 5G modem. So what do these new chipsets mean to you and me? Well think of this, fiber-like speeds with super low latencies right there in your pocket. And how much faster than 4G are we talking about here? Well, 5G will be around 86% faster than what most of us are currently using right now, and that is insane. And could this be the beginning of the end for home broadband as we know it? So how will this new technology change our day-to-day -day lives? Well, here's an example. Qualcomm are working with Microsoft and some other personal computer manufacturers on laptops and hybrid tablets that can run on the Qualcomm Snapdragon processor instead of the usual Intel and AMD chips. And with 4G and 5G capabilities built into that processor, but basically, no matter where you are, your personal computer will always be connected. So no more logging onto annoying coffee shop Wi-Fi and getting bottleneck speeds and being bombarded with annoying junk mails for using them. It will be as simple as just opening your computer and immediately you can crack on with your work emails or carry on watching funny cat clips on YouTube. Now, with these new 5G superpowers, we're likely to see leaps and bounds forward in IoT and in the automotive industries. And it's not like Qualcomm are new to this, because in fact, they've been working with car manufacturers for 15 years now, with in-car 2G and 3G connectivity. But here's the interesting part. Just look at how much more stuff is possible when 4G and 5G comes into play in car. We're talking about a whole new world of possibilities. And it's projected that in fact, three quarters of all cars in 2024 will have cellular connectivity. And you probably already know this, but most flagship smartphones already use Qualcomm Snapdragon and Adreno processors inside. But now check this out. I hear a lot of car manufacturers have signed up to have their new infotainment systems powered by the Snapdragon processors and other Qualcomm chips. And I heard that Qualcomm have designed a new chip for the automotive industry called the CV2X. And they're already trial running this with a few big names that you'll probably recognize. And what does this chip do? Well, check this out. We're talking about being able to predict where other cars are and pedestrians walking on the street, as well as giving your car the ability to communicate with other cars and its surroundings, such as traffic lights and crossings. And who knows, maybe this could reduce the amount of road rage you're getting. And you know, with this kind of tech being right around the corner, I don't suppose it's gonna be very long before we see self-driving cars becoming commercially available to everyone. So anyway, let's start to wrap this up. Essentially, what Qualcomm are trying to do is incorporate as much as possible into a single piece of silicone at the same time as making it as small as possible. And I must say, they're doing a really great job right now. And I heard they have already been able to integrate a SIM card onto the Snapdragon chip which means we could see SIM trailers smartphones in the very, very near future, which will essentially free up more space on the smartphone for the manufacturers to make them smaller or add in more stuff. And now here is just a matter of time before this actually happens. Also, you probably didn't realize this, but in fact, Qualcomm's chips also have a massive impact on your multimedia experiences with technologies like Qualcomm's acoustic amp for bigger sound from your smartphones and tablets as well as Aptex, which some of you probably already heard of for enhanced audio. And this is called the all new Qualcomm True Wireless Tech, which allows for system on chip earbuds that are truly wireless, as the name would suggest. So there's really so much stuff going on over at Qualcomm, and I really don't have enough time to speak about it all. But I must say, I'm super excited to see what they do next. So here's a question for you. What else do you think Qualcomm can integrate into that single little chip that could make our lives easier. Leave a comment below this video and I'll do my best to reply to every single one of you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek at what's in the future for Qualcomm. 
I can't wait to see the difference between what we're using now and what's in the future. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and you will be one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I'm getting ready to do some giveaways, so make sure you turn on your notifications to make sure you don't miss those videos. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.